Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use hedging strategy. This video contains two different section, the sections. The first section is about the hedging strategy itself and I explain how it works. Uh, the second section is about the math behind the hedging strategy and how uh, to use the mathematics to calculate the lot size for each trade in each uh, iteration. Uh, so if you are already familiar with uh, hedging strategy and you are only interested in the mathematics subject, I suggest you to skip the video to the minute and second that you can see below in uh, this video. If this is the first time watching our video, in our channel we speak about the algorithmic trading and uh, different kind of strategies for cryptocurrencies, forex and any other markets. If you are interested in this subject, I would really appreciate if you uh, subscribe our channel. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button so uh, YouTube algorithm will introduce us to others who are interested in these subjects. Uh, and uh, if you have any suggestion for me, any subjects that uh, you want me to cover, I would really appreciate if you uh, leave a comment and uh, give me your feedback in the comments. I will read them and will consider them for future videos. I wish you enjoy this video and stay with us until the end. Imagine that the price for one share or one pair going like that and based on our strategy we decide to send a buy order here uh, in this price and we send one lot by order. Uh, then normally we have a take profit here, uh, we consider it as a 60 pips uh, and we have a stop loss that uh, based on the fact that here we consider the risk to reward 3. Uh, it would be 20 pips lower than entry points. Uh, normally when the price hit the stop loss, we close the order and we lose money. This is the normal way of trading. But when we are using the hedging technique, uh, I don't call it strategy because I consider it as a technique to uh, close the orders, not uh, opening a trade. So. Uh, with hedging techniques, instead of closing uh, the order when it hits the stop loss, we have another line, which in this case, instead of closing the order, we open another order, which is in contrast with the first all order. When it is buy, here we uh, enter with a sell and uh, we decide to enter with 1.5 lot and as i mentioned how to calculate this lot size i would explain in next section here i only uh, explain how the uh, hedging techniques work uh, and then i explain how to calculate these lots for each iteration so uh, and after opening another order in uh, other direction we have another line here uh, this line would be take profit for the sales orders and stop loss for buy orders and the line here would be take profit for buy orders and stop loss for sell orders we call these two line uh, the blue one would be buy lines which whenever we cross it uh, based on its iteration we will buy and send the buy order and whenever we cross uh, the red line, which is uh, corresponding to the sell line, we would send a sell order. So, and both of these uh, sections are 60 pips, and here it is 20 pips. But uh, this is just an, ex uh, an example, and it can be any pips. Just uh, we must do it based on our risk to reward. So, now uh, imagine that. In this case, price goes in our favor and go down and down and down and hit these cells, take profit and uh, buy stop loss. When we hit it, we close all open orders, whether they are sell orders or buy orders. And in this case, uh, what would be our profit? First, 
uh, we opened uh, we opened 1.5 lot sell order here which it gained 60 pips and it would be 60 multiply 1.5 lot and plus minus 80 multiply 1 why because we have a buy order with it, uh, its value is 1 lot and it has lost 80 pips so it would be minus 80 multiply 1 and the result would be 10 units uh, so in the normal way of trading when we hit the take the stop loss actually we would have lost uh, money but in this case we gained even a little amount of money although uh, the purpose of this strategy is not gaining money it is preventing to stop uh, to losing money so now imagine that after this iteration my, uh, price does not go in our favor and it again goes back and go higher and again hit these buy lines in this case we send another buy order for example here 1.1 1 .1 lot and i explain how to calculate this lot here it is not complicated it is simple uh, and after sending this 1.1 buy lot the the price goes in our favor and hit the buys take profit or sells stop loss what would be our profit in this case here we have two open buy orders one of them is one lot and other is 1.1 and both of them gain 60 pips plus minus 1.5 multiply 80 and the result would be six unit and still still we would gain some money again the next iteration if uh, the price does not go in our favor and goes back and hit uh, the sell lines we again send another sell order with 1.6 lot and uh, when it continues in our favor uh, our profit would be 80 18 units so basically this is how the hedging technique works theoretically these techniques help you never lose money but it's not possible to to hedge forever and in one point because you are paying spread you are, you are paying commissions you are paying paying swaps in one point uh, your margin would be limited and uh, the broker will not uh, or would not let you to send another order so it is very important that you know that whenever you are using these techniques to close your orders actually you are risking uh, your whole balance for being margin called although it is rare to be margin called but it would happen some things in these markets may not happen in three years but once they happen uh, they will margin call your account so you must be very careful and uh, uh, of course it's better to start hedging with very small lots your when you are using these techniques your first order must be very small uh, it is important to notice that uh, for us it is better to uh, only open one order and the first order that we open based on our strategy hit the take profit because in this case uh, we would gain the maximum amount of money but uh, when we are implementing actually the uh, hedging strategy hedging techniques to close the order it means that our our first uh, pre-consumptions uh, regarding uh, the entry points and the signal that gave us to send the order was not true and we were wrong so uh, we don't want to gain money we just want to close the orders without losing money so in this section i teach you how to calculate the lot size for each iteration in uh, edging strategy uh, to this point we know that we have a buy lines buys line and uh, sells lines here and uh, two different line that uh, here this line would be with the take profit for buys orders and the stop loss for uh, 
uh, sales orders and uh, vice versa here we this line would be the take profit for all sales order and stop loss for buy orders this distance would be a as you can see in the formula the a uh, would be uh, can be anything and it doesn't matter because uh, you have a division that all a's would be simplified together but you can see it uh, in the uh, next section and uh, this distance would be risk to reward multiply a for the previous example we considered here 20 pips and here three times uh, bigger and it would it was 60 but generally it is risk to reward multiply a and here again it is risk to reward multiply a so if the price go li goes like that and we enter here with the, uh, the lot size of first buy and price goes down and we enter with the lot size of first sell and uh, when the price goes in our uh, favor in order to stay in profit this non equation must be true what is that uh, lot size of first sell multiply this this distance which is risk to reward multiply a must be greater than lot size of first buy multiply its distance which is this distance this distance plus this one a plus risk to reward multiply a and then uh, it would become this one here a plus risk to reward a divided to risk to reward multiply a the a would be simplified together and ls1 must be greater than risk to reward plus one divided risk to reward multiply lot size of uh, first buy so this is the final equation for the first iteration uh, as an example if the lot size of first buy be one and the risk to reward be three then based on this formula lot size of first sell must be greater than 1.34 and in order to cover the commission spread and swap i usually multiply it to 1.1 so it would be uh 10% higher and lot size of first cell would be 1.48 uh, of course you can use for example uh, your uh, percentage maybe 1.2 or 1.05 5% higher than that but I prefer based on my uh, broker I prefer to multiply it by 1.1 and uh, uh, and consider it 10% higher so now we continue our uh, equation imagine that we hit it this line several times and here would be the lot size of first buy lot size of first sell lot size of second buy lot size of second sell lot size of third buy and here lot size of n n minus one sell lot size of n buy here is the lot size of ends sell so we continue we write the calculation again in order to stay in profit the sum of all sales lie a lot multiply 60 or risk to reward multiply a here i wrote 60 to be uh, to seem uh, simp uh, more simple must be greater than the sum of buys lots multiply 80 but of course uh, here it is risk to reward multiply a and here is a plus risk to reward multiply a so it would change to this non equation which it means lot size of n l must be plus lot size of n, n minus one cells plus lot size of second cells plus lot size of first cells 
must be greater than risk to reward plus one divided risk to reward multiply lot size of ends by plus lot size of third by plus lot size of second by and plus lot size of first by and if we transmit this parenthesis here because all of these lot size are known for us because we calculated them in previous iterations except this one lot size of n's cell this one is known this one is known this one is all of them are known because we have calculated them in previous iterations so we transmit the parenthesis here we want to find out uh, the value of this lot size so lot size of ins cell must be equal to risk to reward plus one divided the risk to, to, to reward multiply the sum of open buys lots all the buys lots which are open right now minus the sum of open sales lot here this uh, blue one means the sum of all of these lots and the red one means the sum of all these lots and in order to cover the commission and the spreads and swaps i multiply whole of this equation by 1.1 so consider the lot size 10 percent higher and this is the final formula for calculating the lot size of uh, the cell and if uh, instead of uh, calculating the cell lot size we are crossing the buys line and we want to calculate the buy the lot size of buy order the formula would be exactly vice versa and uh, the lot size of n spy would be risk to reward plus one multi the divided by risk to reward uh, multiply sum of open sales lots minus sum of open buys lots and in order to cover the expenses we multiply them by 1.1 to consider it 10 percent higher so I use this formula to implement my expert advisor and use algorithmic trading to implement the hedging strategy because hedging strategy is a little sensitive and uh, uh, it's not efficient to sit down in front of the, your computer and uh, always check whether it's time to uh, open the next order or not and it must be done by algorithmic trading. Uh, this formula is the formula that I always used in hedging techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, do not forget uh, to introduce us to your friends, those who are interested in these subjects. And if you like the video, please hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm would introduce us to others who are interested in this subject. I wish you have a good day. Goodbye.